Ladies and gentlemen, the American jury and Bulldog Nation, does the name Dr. Sagari Allen mean anything to you? We're putting this photo up here while I talk about this. We have a current St. Elizabeth Medical Center x-ray tech, and you can't make it up, but a lawsuit has been filed in Kenton Circuit Court today detailing the facts about how Dr. Allen does unnecessary, unnecessary glaucoma and unnecessary cataract surgeries on patients. And this is like Dr. Durrani, except he's an eye doctor. How does this happen? Well, let me tell you it happens. It happens by greed. Greed of the corporate healthcare system. And St. Elizabeth Medical Center is a great example. You and I now get big color postcards all the time of St. Elizabeth encouraging us to contact them for knee pain. And all they want to do is generate tests and tests. I'm going to call ahead and call him out so St. E's knows because he's turned his back on me. So it's like, screw him. My primary care physician for years was Dr. Troy Schumann. He sold out to go run the bariatric center at St. E's. That's right, the diet and fat place. Can you imagine the scams that they run charging insurance and whatnot for diets and whatnot that never work? He told me, by the way, I've heard this from others, but I want to tell you, here's my fraternity brother. Troy Schumann told me that St. E's pushed all the doctors to send referrals, push, push, push to the hospital. And if you didn't do your share, you were punished. So what happens is, is they create these mammoth healthcare centers and they need money. It needs to be fed. The monster needs to be fed. And the way you feed it is test, 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 procedure, 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 whether you need it or not. And some doctors play ball more than other doctors. And if you ask any honest doctor in the state of Kentucky, Ohio, or anywhere in this country, they will admit what I'm saying is true. It's true. It's sick. Dr. Durrani, Exhibit A. Dr. Segari Allen will be Exhibit B. And you have to say, well, what kind of person does it? Well, it's proven that what a sociopath is, these are sociopaths, is what they are, is they might be on the outside. Everybody thinks they're fine and they're okay and they're good guys. I, heard, I understand Segari Allen's a super nice guy. Boy, Dr. Durrani was a charming guy, wasn't he? And by the way, the information that I got, stone cold, got him, stone cold information. I don't know, somewhere along the line, they, they lose their humanity. The thirst for money, 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 money. It's unbelievable. So if you or a loved one has had a surgery by Dr. Segari Allen, contact us. We have filed a class action lawsuit and... Uh, we're gathering names and we're gathering names of patients. And it's truly unbelievable, unbelievable what's going on here. And I got the scoop. And by the way, they fight us like tooth and nail on these cases, but we don't give up. We don't give up. We now have against Sands with Medical Center a case involved, cases involving them sending people di to dialysis before they should have been. Cases where they, you go to this, the primary care physician and you get billed twice for two office visits when you have one office visit, uh, where they push their steroid shots. Uh, billing fraud, uh, that's a big one, that's in front of Judge Bunning right now, just beginning. We now got this case, I mean, sales with Medical Center, it's unbelievable. All you who drink the Kool-Aid, by the way, the same place that mistreated healthcare workers. Now, it, it, by the way, just like any sociopath, even an institution can do good. They can do all the, look at mobsters. 
mafia godfathers give out toys to kids at Christmas and then kill people. St. E's and all these hospitals are the same. They do all these great things. Then they do this stuff. Should they be allowed to get away with this stuff because they donate money to schools? If you're somebody that says yes, well, there's a problem with you. And I'm the only one that fights these battles publicly. This is the bulldog. Every dog has their day. St. Elizabeth Healthcare is a corporate, greedy gangster.